Why, hello there, everybody, all the buddies, welcome to the stream here on VR Master League Channel 1. We've got Rush, but we're not in one. We got There Is No Team, but there is one. The names, the names, so confusing. But let me clear it up a little bit for you. On the casting end, I'm Palador. On the camera end, I'm Palador. And in the Twitch end, well, I'm not Palador, I'm VR Master League, but nonetheless, you guys are here. We see a Baron. We've got some regal, re regal, regality, legality, royalty, royality. We got something in the chat, so uh, welcome to it, Baron. We got Dan Mack, as well as Tom Wellings. How you doing? Hopefully very welling, as uh, Steel Sky also joins, who we just saw on Channel 2 not too long ago. How's your evenings? I know Steel's is going pretty well, uh, at least... An hour ago was any indication, but that said, round one, about to start between these two teams, and uh, thank you real quick uh, to, oh, should I even attempt, should I even attempt, there's so many different ways I could say this, uh, yeah, yeah, how about I'll go with that, but let me know how to pronounce your name, because I like to get that right, uh, thank you so much for the subscription, tier one, two months, appreciate that quite a bit, and yeah, thanks for joining, so here it is, we got a gold level match, gold division between Rush and there is no team, Salty Raccoon, Snowy Fox, Tantrum, and Bart Star, and going for a shooting star to the backboard. Not a boring start whatsoever, this is uh, fun. Got Tint, over here is Girl, and Agasm, <laughs> as well as Kai, and Nathan, and White Dragon. Such a team that it even rhymes when I say it. There is no rhyme, but there is a reason that you guys are here tonight. A lot of great matches we had, I think, four in a row on Channel 1, a Master Tier match, that is to say, and then over on Channel 2, we had a few Diamond ones. I mean, a lot of exciting stuff. At the moment here, it's uh, Nathan P with the disc and setting it through. And yeah, got that poll up for you. I think the prediction just may have ended now, and need to uh, see how that turns out for you guys. Got that up there. So as always, if you got requests or channel point redemptions, things like that that you want to redeem, well, by all means, do so! Uh, but either way, if not, kick back, sit back, relax, have fun. All right now, these teams, uh, they have all well, the disc loose and having fun, having stuns. Guy Gasm here with the drive and right into the bottom pocket as the goalkeeper, uh, I believe, Tantrum dives out. So nice job from Guy, gets it to go. Good start from them. Unsound asking if I could make th that message in the chat alone. Your message, a TikTok. How would that work? 
just 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 post the message and no no other special request about me to sing a song or something. I don't know. Anyway, Snowy Fox here down low. A good pass to Tantrum. Tantrum! Oh! That was a hot one to Bart Star. Spicy! Talk about hot ones. Well, four to two for Rush off of that. That was a really lovely team play we saw from them. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, there is no team heavily favored, at least on the... Well, heavily favored on the, the points, I should say. Now, there's five votes for Tint to win this one. There's three for Rush. But, very lopsided are the gambles. 93% of it going the way as Old Dot making a play. Tantrum throwing that one out of there. But Guy having it stolen now by a Salty. And a lot, and I mean a lot of stuns happening here inside the goal before finally able to recover his White Dragon. Stuns continuing, continuing to roll, so let them eat cake. Let them eat, well, at least the... Knuckles, Knuckles sandwiches as it gets distributed back to the Tuttle and immediately on the stacking it's uh, going to be a breakaway on the chain and Bart Star does it again. They're up six to two. Oh, yeah, nice, nice pass work we were seeing there from well, well, both sides, but the defense from Rush was nice. Um, the the passing play from Rush that last time around was also quite nice. That said, Nathan, here to girl, girl, over to the tunnel. I should point out that due to some apparent extenuating circumstances, uh, girl is in fact Dave, Rad David, <laughs> having some uh, account issues at the moment. But yes, just just for clarity. But nonetheless, Salty Raccoon uh, will have that disc and oh, doing the ankle breakage there, kind of breaking in midair to try and uh, cause Nathan to slide by. But nope, Nathan not giving up on this play. Nathan has that disc, slaps it out over to the midfield. Midfield overtaken by Tantrum. Tantrum to the wedge. Uh, has a cloud pass, has a floor pass, opts for the floor, they floor it, and try to make it, but Snowy Fox couldn't quite get it as they go over to the wedge again. So back in the arms of Tantrum, Tantrum taking it and sending it over uh, to the bow tie, that stack attempting to gather. All the meanwhile, White Dragon just... Just waiting, watching uh, watching what's going to happen, and not for too long, tried to get a leech, but now the stun's going out and really inconveniencing Tint. There is no team at the moment, as Bart Stars sends it back out to Tantrum, and Tantrum over to the trap. Uh, that's going to be taken back by Snowy Fox. Snowy over to Bart. Bart looking for maybe a uh, ramp shot, or just a self-pass if nothing else, but actually will be a raccoon taking it, making it. And nothing, nothing trash about that panda. Raccoon gets the goal, nine to two. Fun fact for those who might have been around a while. I know certainly the players on, on There Is No Team will remember, but uh, the community manager for Ready at Dawn back at the initial release of Echo Arena for that first first year or so was uh, Lil Trash Panda. And she's quite awesome. Met her in real life at Oculus Connect 4 and Great community manager she was, and then uh, came along Rad Wyvern, who has been a phenomenal in her own right in that role. The queen of gifts is Wyvern, bringing the the gift of gifts to the Echo community. Uh, that said, trying to gift wrap a pass perhaps with Snowy over to the barrier, but Guy absolutely denying it. So sending it deep into the other side uh, will bounce a few different directions before finally a tap from Nathan, maybe uh, expecting the Ness pass but no one was quite there unfortunately so it will be a clear out as the team's fan out that is the orange team here for rush rush in a hurry but white dragon that's scurried for the disc sends it over to the tunnel as more punches go out yet there's girl over to nathan nathan had not really an angle because that defense recovered so very quickly for rush indeed true to their name now all the meanwhile back and forth trying to get that goal this time but slightly off again on the angle uh, retained by Salty. Salty to Bart. Bart to the midfield. And Tantrum will hold it. At least for a moment. And now a pass off of the stun, actually. Being knocked loose. Great defense from Tint. They're down seven points here. 327 remaining. Still got some opportunities to maybe get something going. Uh, that said, a slow one will be rolling, but denied by Dave Girl. G girl Dave. Rat, rat girl. Anyway, it was a rad play. That's all you need to know. 
But over there in the tunnel, taken back by Tantrum. Tantrum now trying to uh, get that out of there, but no, another snag this time from Guy. Guy over and out to the wall. Uh, <laughs> the stuns are absolutely heavy uh, right now. Every single time. It was a good juke there from Salty, just hopping on over, but... And every time those piles happen, there's just a plethora and a half of stuns. A pass cut off there by Guy again, so great defense. A few different times, needs to get it out of there, and he does. There's White Dragon, Nathan trying to uh, kind of fan into the collection on that disc, but Bartstar does take it. Now a snag, but snags back. A really frantic play, no doubt, happening here. Uh, in this match so far. So uh, Nathan with a disc here at mid zone. Has a little bit of time to work with and Guy now with a disc. Over on the opposite end of the floor. Well positioned is that play. Almost taken there and actually still may be in fact by the chain. Uh, look at that. Rush really doing a nice work on defense. They get right back into it. They uh, turn their stacks around. They don't lose their chain. That's an important part is of chain. It's not only about speed, it's about accuracy. Just like that three is an accurate three. It's Salty Raccoon. And it's sweet. And it's Salty. But not too soon will be the end of this round. Uh, looking like a win for Rush perhaps, but Tint still looking to find a little bit of heat and muster together some of that, uh, that team chemistry and that team play that We've known from them, you know, uh, in bunches. We've seen from them in bunches in previous seasons. So, you know, just trying to get it going here in Season 3 so far. Of course, a long one it is. And uh, I think, you know, from them, always just one one good game away. One one uh, solid win away from just easing back into the swing of things for Tint. And just trying to ease themselves into maybe a goal off of a less easy set of stuns from uh, from Girl here. Dave. I'm not sure which one to call him, but in any case, on that pass, a little bit off to Nathan, but actually just comes to him! So how about that? Didn't even have to uh, do extra work, just went for the stun, and said, hey, Disc, come come over to me. Thank you. I'll put that right here. Right in the goal. Right where it belongs. With that said, uh, we'll be off the tantrum, and see the chat kind of asking... Yeah, about what, uh, Tint, you know, having a little bit, little hard time with things here lately, but I think, like I said, it can happen to any team, and I think it's, especially in the early season, as a really nice shot goes in from Dave. But I think it's, uh, it, it can happen to a lot of teams and a lot of players, uh, you know, initially, I think. The first part of the reason we're seeing a lot more, uh, a lot more teams, you know, in the Diamond Division and, uh, and ri rising in rank and such is just because of the work put in, you know, in the offseason for sure. I know a lot of people heavy into the scrims and stuff. Uh, part of it too, I think early season jitters and chemistry kind of can be a real thing. I know when I was playing in uh, ESL uh, towards that last season, season three, for instance, you know, coming off otherwise successful first two seasons, but you know, going into the third one, we we had uh, on Eclipse worn ourselves out so much playing. Uh, in in that, that final month of Season 2 of ESL, leading up to the championships and such. I mean, we, it got to the point where we were scrimmaging uh, basically four or five days a week for those last uh, several weeks. We're talking, you know, three or four hour scrim sessions uh, sessions for it. And, uh, you know, it became, it became some work. And so once the season had ended, uh, we kind of took it easy. You know, we had other things to attend to. We t played more mixed privates and pubs and things like that. And... Well, by the time it came around to season three of ESL starting, uh, we struggled because <laughs> we hadn't, we lost a little bit of that that edge, that chemistry, because we stopped playing uh, as much in the off season. So I, I do feel like, you know, despite the results in that season, by the time we got to the last month of it and gotten towards the uh, qualifiers, things like that, like we were pretty confident and we were playing well again. Uh, I I'm perfectly happy with how we finished off, despite the fact that we did end up finishing third behind uh, Joker and King, but. Point being, I think maybe we're seeing some of that from some teams here in the league. Uh, Tint might be one of them, just a case of they need to re reignite the chemistry, essentially. It's there, it's somewhere in there. These players have been at it for 
forever, okay? Uh, they know how to play. But I think just some miscues on some of the communication end of things, just because perhaps they haven't been playing quite as much uh, since the season ended. Just my guess. But, like I said, you know, uh, you're, just, you're just a game away, you're a week away of scrims, of practice, to getting right back in it and feeling good about yourselves again. So, wouldn't be surprised to see, for sure, as Rad Nathan sends it over to the midfield. Uh, first, or second round underway. Nine or 30 seconds into this one as a big stun from Bart. Bart uh, shooting hot, especially at the start of round one, but couldn't avoid the snag from Guy. Just checking behind him and now trying to make a play. So with that, over on the pass. A beautiful one, but the finish not quite as desirable, but still yet they may get the disc back. White Dragon will cross up Salty and now cross it over off the bounce. A good delivery here to Girl. Back over and trying to hurl it in. And it's Guy to the Girl and all around the world. It's Tint getting the score after that disc traveled everywhere just about. But finally finding their passes and finding their bounces. And that was a, a nice hit. Nice way to start for Tint. So launching uh, Bart Star with a disc here, just uh, fighting in the time. Not really, not really heavily pressured there. Now that said, uh, one player getting stranded in the back line. So perhaps Rush can press on this, get some numbers advantage. Uh, let's see. Not able to connect on the passes, however. So White Dragon does take it back. Uh, White Dragon setting it over to the sidewall where Nathan will gather. Two minutes into this round, the lone two points favoring. There is no team. Now, Tantrum has a disc back, but gotta watch out because that stack really starting to get their grabs together quickly. And uh, possession time beginning to favor Tint a little bit in these, at least these first two minutes. So, a positive sign for sure as they look to gain some control. And there you go. Uh, rolling out of the floor. Soft pass, but will be caught out. One of those uh, passes, uh, we'll see if they can get another one actually backing it out now, splitting off on the stack, trying for maybe a stun on the, the goalie for a three-point play. Doesn't work out though, it's good defense from Rush. Rush getting out of there, but look, it's uh, there is no team again, speedily able to regather. And that's uh, largely thanks to the brawls going on way back at the orange bow tie. So like I said, possession time definitely starting to favor the side of Tint as they get it back once more, at least for a moment. But it's uh, just not translating into those goals quite yet. So we see Bart Star. Oh man. 27 meters, full confidence on the shot. They're up by one. Great hit from Bart Star. Once again, uh, round one, same case. Round two, making a case as definitely a, a, a hot shooter here for Rush. Feeling good. Feeling very, very good. So uh, breaking the seal on this round for the side of Rush. And just a. Bit of a bouncy pass, unfortunately can't be uh, grabbed by Tint, so will be Bart Star. A tap back out to Snowy Fox. Snowy being contested by a guy. Gotta be careful, because otherwise he'll do that to ya! Right through the chasm. You know who it was, it was Guy. Just Guy. Two point lead for Tint. 624 remaining. But uh, yeah, quick shout out once more to all you guys joining in the chat. Thank you for the support for these teams, for the casters, and for the league. As well as our sponsors as a nice shield goes out there from Salty. It's going to enable maybe an open goal, slapping it through. Bart! And it will not be the case. But of course, our great sponsors. Uh, seen some of their videos here and our intermissions as well. As right now, uh, men on a mission. And it's going to Girlgasm. And it's back to Rad Nathan. And Nathan gets the score off a very, very sweet short range pass. I love it. Up by four now. And on that note, that passing play sponsored to you by HyperX. Asterian products, of course, as well as Rebuff Reality, Fix Gaming, VRWare.net, Pro2VR, VR Cover. All our sponsors offering support and contributing uh, you know, towards the efforts here of VRML. And happy to have them on board and happy to also, in HyperX's case, cast with their products. Quadcast, uh, quadcast, pallycast. But yes, over onto the midfield. Tantrum with a disc over by the cloud. Now sending it back through the... A uh, blue zone, trying to find some rhythm, but no, that's going to be snagged by a girl. Nice work uh, so far, definitely from Tint. They're, they're really getting back 
uh, a lot faster than they were in round one. They're uh, able to recover on these discs, and even though, you know, some of these bounces are not going their way, they're still getting their chains fast enough where they're kind of undoing any other uh, errors that otherwise happen, or any of these clears that are happening from Rush. So, Rush, after feeling very strong in that first round, a little bit less momentum this time around. They haven't really been able to establish a, a foothold here. A bit disjointed thanks to the comeback round thus far from Tint. So we shall see. White Dragon making a play, just heaving it deep into the zone. Now that's going to take a bounce back to Bartstar. Bartstar looking for a little bit of a miniature Joker train, more of a anchor redirect. So just very cleverly using the full environment slash teammates <laughs> to his advantage. Now, as more stuns ring in, it's going to be White Dragon with the disc, but I think that's a big part of it. Not only is Tint acting fast, but they also have backliners who are really stunning out some of these stack efforts from Rush, as we see. Uh, but yeah, I know Twitch chat in there looking forward to maybe a round three, perhaps soon, we'll see. But still, uh, way too tight to call. Guy, a soft handoff nicely to Nathan. Nathan. Surveying the situation, now eyeing this down, trying to search for it, uh, but looking for nothing except a stun as Salty gets it out of there. Less of a rac uh, raccoon, more of a shark, just kind of hunting down as they will get that disc back briefly, but Bartstar being stunned and stolen from, but recovered and stolen back and again, so picking the pocket, but... Not able to pick up the disc for too long, are uh, either of these teams. An attempted... we'll call it a self-pass, uh, Nathan. Going for some style, maybe. I mean, this is right in his wheelhouse is a thing. Those long bounce shots is something that he has been doing for years now and quite well uh, before before anyone could, you know? I mean, these aren't, aren't just developers. They are well-developed players at that. Nathan was always super good at the bounce shots, bounce passes. Uh, early days, David was always super awesome at the, the trench shots, uh, underarming those. Again, uh, coming at a period of time where literally no one could do that except for him. So, with that said though, obviously the wheelhouses of these players a lot stronger these days as a strong arm stun and a shot! White Dragon getting a punch, a steal, and assist essentially as Guy finishes the play. 10 to 3. And look out! Uh, Tint looking bright, contrary to their name perhaps. Uh, right now, they're shining. So with that, a seven-point advantage. Two minutes left in this round. And Raccoon, just squeaking away here from White Dragon. Can't imagine a Dragon versus Raccoon in any real-life scenario. Would be all too favorable. And that's assuming that Dragons exist, which they do. I saw it in a movie once. But nonetheless, White Dragon trying to make this fantasy a reality, which is to say, uh, start building some steam. Right now, a ding! Snowy Fox might not want to see some steam, otherwise it'd be melted snow. But that said, Fox gets the goal into the foxhole. It's a five-point differential and still in it here in the last minute and 30 remaining of round two. See, bird friend, and pardon me if you heard that, that might have been uh, me cracking open some Dr. Pepper, who we are not so uh, sponsored by yet, but I will be one day. Rest assured, it will happen, and if it doesn't... Well, I guess it doesn't. Can't really do anything about that, can I? But Red Nathan is going to work it up the floor here, looking to evade, and does so with some uh, success! Backboard! Talked about the bounces! Nathan, getting it in. Off of just that. So they're rocking, they're rolling, and they are indeed bouncing. Looking for that third round real soon. It's a bird friend. What's, how's it going? The friendliest bird I know. In all of Echo. As well as Goblin. The gobliniest player I know. It's, it's, and there are multiple goblins in this league. <laughs> or, or there's at least a couple. In any case, uh, going to be taken by Snowy Fox. Snowy Fox being stunned out and uh, over to the re, re uh, collection. Salty finding the goal. How about that? Well, 
So, round two will still yet go to There Is No Team on Blue, but Rush, at least ending on a good note, always uh, as important as anything. So there you go. There you go. Looking for a round three. And in fact, we will find it in about uh, 60 seconds. Now the problem with Dr. Pepper makes for a bit of a gas cast if you catch my drift. Kind of like I'm playing Silent Library here on the cast. You know, uh, Silent Library, you have to... You can't laugh too hard, lest it disrupt the uh, the the, the library. Uh, the library, but for me, it's like I can't I can't burp too hard, lest it disrupt the cast. Heard of passing gas, but I cannot pass a cast. In any case, thirteen to seven, off of that round. And uh, this isn't your last match of the night either. This will be the one stream for this particular block, that is to say. But we do have a couple OCE matches along the way. Uh, including Echo Japan versus Talos, and we've got Hydra versus Outlaws. So, bound to be some cool matches for sure. For sure, for sure. And yeah, heading over to the third round quite soon. And by soon, I mean right now. So, Baron Dragon cheering on Rua. A.K.A. Rush. <laughs> Go Rua! Vacant! Cheering on Tint! Man, alright. Third round. It is mint. It is fresh. And here we go uh, with Tantrum. They have first uh, kind of juggling of the disc. Bart Star, a little too far, at least on that attempt, as it will go back to the sideline. Taken over here by White Dragon. White immediately going for that boost together. Uh, they get some successive re grabs, and it goes. That might have been in still yet, so it will be two points, but if I'm not mistaken, that might have been a three. Either way, though, Tint. They're not going to be too bothered by it, at least I hope not, because they got themselves a goal. Uh, they, they started off great in the second round, and they kept it going. Important here to just keep it on. You know, keep, keep, uh, keep the juice flowing. So they can have some success and, you know, get back to their game. I think that's what they're looking for, for sure. Now, of course, Rush here. Uh, by name, anyways, by name, did exist as a team back in back in preseason one, maybe season one, but at least preseason one, so about a year ago. I uh, don't believe any of these players have uh, affiliation, to my knowledge. But yeah, Rush was a a thing at a time. I do believe actually, uh, I think Late Toast was on it. Late Toast, uh, up until recently, anyways, was on Tint. Played on Tint last season. Late Toast also on Rush, as I, I recall. I'm not positive on that, but I think he was. As a shot just, woo. Just grazing that barrier. Uh, would have been a bad situation had it gone in. Don't want to give him that kind of momentum. That said, a lot of momentum coming in on the stacks. White Dragon being stunned. So a Dragon Slayer is Raccoon after all. Go figure. Nonetheless, though, over to the Wedge. Will be picked up by Nathan. Nathan trying to avoid these stacks. and uh, Really good uh, once more uh, on Rush's part. They've done a pretty nice job of uh, keeping their stacks together. Keeping those chains. It's... Not the easiest thing in the world, certainly. As, hold on. Oh, that's very close. You see what I mean? Those long clears off those side wall, uh, walls and the tunnels. So dangerous, but you know what? So is Bart Star. Just an uh, absolutely consistent threat the entire time. All three rounds so far. Doing some work. Alright, so uh, Bart Star, there it is again, uh, causing a turnover. Let's see, though. We White Dragon instead, stunning back out. Over to Girl Dave. Still very confusing. It's confusing times. As Girl walks it up the floor. And over to Nathan. There you go. Mr. Fundamental. Not talking about Tim Duncan either. But that was a nice dump in, nonetheless, from Nathan. See, Baron predicting 6-4 to four on the final score. Well, we shall see. But Tint has 4 at the moment, and they're trying to floor it 
for a moment as it will get to Girl. Girl right back, but a bit too strong on the catch, uh, making it too hard to catch, I should say, as it does float back to the trap. You can see well prepared our tint trying to stack back already. They definitely made a great improvement of the, their stacks as well as their stack breakage in that round. And that said, a bit of a rush shot, but you know what? It takes the right bounces for Salty to somehow get the goal, get the lead. And on they'll roll, feeling good in round three with 6-14 remaining. Alright, so a clear and a boost, a nice collection from Right Dragon, but that bounce is just going to go off the roots. Trying to find the root again two times, but both times no one really there, so maybe a little miscommunication from uh, There Is No Team on... I'm just figuring out exactly where the next pass is going, but that said, they are going for this goal. This pass uh, intended pass that boot to White Dragon, but a snag from White Dragon. Dragon hitting Nathan. Nathan to Guy, but uh, kind of crisp when they wanted to cross. That said, the disc will be lost here. Snowy Fox causing a turnover. Tantrum now, barely clearing the bottom of the barrier and able to at least get it to the Echo logo, uh, where Guy recovers. Guy being stunned. Now reaching out at the bottom, uh, double KO, Nathan now trying to make a bounce play happen. Getting clever with it, like I said, uh, always, always with those bounces and always with the actions per minute, keeping it up as that flies right by the goal on a narrow miss. Could have put Rush up by a couple uh, goals at least, but with that, Tint is certainly happy to see this goal. It's open and Dragon smoking. The legendary one himself puts them up by two. And that is definitely tough if you're rushed, just uh, mentally speaking, to see what looked like a, you know, an open three-pointer on your end just barely miss. That's already kind of a, a punch in the teeth. I, I kind of spit like Daffy Duck there, but in any case, a punch in the teeth. <laughs> um, and then to see it translate on the other side seconds later into an open three for the other team that does hit. Uh, like I said, mentally speaking, that, that's kind of tough to see, so... See how Rush reacts with that, if they can make a play happen here. And, uh, let us see. Snowy Fox over on the wall, Tantrum there as well. Some nice pass work coming in. Salty Raccoon! A very great uh, pass and, and maneuver. You can see kind of the, the diver, uh, the goalkeeper had do uh, dove upon him, but still kind of bringing the disc underneath, uh, with a little... I guess you can call it a windmill? I mean, it was... Windmill-ish, but just a gentle workaround basically under the diving arms, and that was the important thing. Uh, with that, four minutes left, a little bit less. We've got a tied-up match right in this third round, so it's all or nothing, all the marbles. And White Dragon. Bye is lonesome. Uh, flying through the air. Crawling on the floor. And getting it to Guy. For a couple points more, Nathan! Nice pass. Really competitive this round. Neither team able to pull away for or by too much as of yet. First round was 12 to 7, favoring Rush. Uh, second round was uh, 15 to 7, or 13 to 7, rather. And then this round, 9 to 7. So 7 7 7. I guess it must be our lucky number. Well, we've got ourselves a certainly a good stream. Nathan here trying to shield himself and deal some damage, but Barstar is there to contest. Back to the midfield. Now, all the meanwhile, taken here, White Dragon, uh, sending it over, looking for their boost as well. The, the brawls, however, been a big reality of this team. Uh, Nathan, looking for a cross-cutting pass, just trying to get some positioning in, and uh, now it will be in for the drag in. They've got 11. Rush has got 7. And with a 7 to 11. That was a very convenient play. All the meanwhile, making a play here deep down. You can see that immediate pass off into the tunnel. And then the boost was out. They were gone. Uh, what a nice rollout that was. Wow. Bartsar finishes it, but that is full credit to the entire Rush team. That was actually a super, super nice rollout. I love that. I don't know if they have a name for it, but now I want to know if there is. <laughs> that was, a, that was a, a really efficient rollout. Wasted no time, wasted no space. Everything was where it needed to be. 
So let's see how Tint reacts. They've still got that two-point advantage uh, with kind of an equally fast rollout. Actually might be similar results had there not been a goalkeeper in the way. That looked like it was going to bounce off the backboard for a shot, for that matter. Nonetheless, going back to the midfield, as in the d deep back line, a lot of helmets uh, being broken by all those brawls. But it will be Bart Star with a disc. So that here, they have a chance, maybe, to tie it up or take a lead, depending. Two or three. But it's coming right down to the wire. So that said, on a tightrope, Guy gets it! 14 to 9, and that could be just enough space. For there is no team to pull away. One minute left. It is not done. But Rush has to be very, very true to their name and just do nothing but that for the next minute. Uh, they need to score twice here and defend. So not over, but it's close. Let's see. Uh, I mean, we saw that rollout last time. It was super fast, so that's the thing. <laughs> they could they could do it again, and they almost did, uh, had it not been for the dive. But Gygasm, able to get the dive, able to get the clear. So otherwise, another great rollout we saw there from Rush. So kind of interesting to pay attention to, but with a opportunity. There's a girl to Guy. Sitting in a tree. Won't finish that, though, <laughs> as White Dragon takes that disc and sends it right below. And for the closure, Rad and Nathan P. And they will be the victors of this round, of this series. Uh, 16 to 9. Very, very competitive. I'm super impressed with what I saw from Rush. I will say that much as well. Uh, has he wishing for a round four? And five. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with that, the round win, series win, going to them in three. I'll get you guys over in the, the Twitch your prediction points in a second here. Don't you worry. Although, 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 again, 93% of the points, 15k points were bet for there is a team and 1k for Rush, so... Your payout may not be all that, all that hyped, but I hope you enjoy it. Uh, spend it well. And there you go. <laughs> so uh, with that, with that, with that, uh, that is the end of this particular stream. We still have more along the way in the near future. Not quite now, now, though. Uh, in about, let's see, one hour from now, we shall have OCE. Uh, match between Echo Japan and Talos. Uh, that will be here on this channel, as well as immediately following that one, Hydra versus Outlaws. and uh, Some good matches, no doubt about to be had in our OCE region, across the sea and the ocean. But alright, 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 alright. So, that will do it for us, I think. Uh, yeah, to the Twitch chat though, thanks for watching. Uh, Mayonnaise in there with the GGs. Again, Tom Wellings, a uh, goblin. Less Dash, Bird Friend, Vacant Ace, and Unsound. Uh, it's been a sweet sound to me. Streaming Echo all day today. And more to come tomorrow, actually, because... Yeah, Master Tier all over the place, all over the place. Oh my goodness, I'm actually looking at it now. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow in EU, talk about Master Tier. We got Smash Dash versus Tempo. We have Envy versus Phantoms. Tempo versus Phantoms. Smash Dash versus Baked Potato. Quackheads versus Hellbent. And that's just an EU. Those are all Master Games. And then we have an NA. Redshift versus Four Kings. Aluma Duty versus Four Kings. Wrath versus Redshift. Uh, well, I'm going to have to prepare uh, a lot of drinks <laughs> uh, for tomorrow's cast, but I'm excited. That is a lot. Of, that's a loaded amount of matches. Well, wow. all right. That said, that said, that said, thanks guys for watching again. Uh, join me again at the top of the hour for your OCE matches. But until then, this has been VR Master League Season 3, Week 3, and there is no team. Uh, able to get a victory here and put a stop to Rush in their otherwise 5-0 campaign up until today. So 
Uh, that definitely is a strong showing and an important victory for There Is No Team. Hopefully this gets them kickstarted for the rest of the way. And meanwhile, Rush, I'm positive they will rebound. They showed way, way, way too many good things in this match. Uh, to not keep it, keep it going. You know, keep kicking. But, okay, again, I'm off. <laughs> uh, be happy, healthy, safe, guys. And be good to each other. We'll see you again soon. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. Sponsored by Baron Dragon.